So when you get ready to do your pedicure at home, the first thing you want to do is gather up all your supplies because there's nothing worse than paddling around trying to get things after you've gotten started, right? The first step that I do is to file and shape my nails. I do this before I get my feet wet at all because my toenails are stronger this way. So it's easier for me to file and get the precise shape that I want. If I need to trim them at this point, I go ahead and do that as well. Make sure you're using a coarser nail file that's tough enough for your toenails. The second step is to soak my feet in soapy water for about 15 minutes. I use Dr. Bronner's um, soap, it, you, either the peppermint or the eucalyptus because it's just really, really great and it smells great. Third step, I exfoliate and buff away all the dead skin that makes your feet look nasty. And my favorite for this is the head egg. In my opinion, nothing really gets that dead skin away quite as good as this little thing. And don't forget to check the description box because a list of everything that I personally use will be down there. Step four, I prepa prepare my toenails for polish. Um, I apply a cuticle remover to the nails and I rub that in with my fingers. And then I allow it to penetrate the cuticles for about 30 seconds. Now I use an orange stick or a cuticle stick to push back my cuticles. I wipe that off with a cotton pad and then I go ahead and buff my nails using a nail buffer just to smooth them out and get prepared for a nice surface for the polish to adhere to. I make sure that I do the tips of my toenails as well. Okay, step five. This is imperative. I love this foot treatment. You can get it from Sally. It really, really helps to make my pedicures last. And it comes with booties, so it's just really amazing. Each little booty has the treatment in it, and I allow it to sit on my feet for about 20 to 30 minutes. I take off the booties after allowing the treatment to penetrate, and then I'm just sure to wipe my feet clean. You can either dip them back in the water or just use a towel. Step six, moisturize. I like to use whipped shea butter that I make, and I apply that to my heels especially, but all over my feet. And then these are gel foot treatment booties. I love these because they leave the toes exposed, so it helps that moisturizer to penetrate in my feet a little bit better. Okay, and getting ready to finally polish our nails. The first thing we need to do is to wipe off our nails using polish remover. It needs to be completely naked, free of any oils or products from our moisturizing treatment and our shea butter, so you have to make sure that you get your nails really, really clean before you start the polish. I love these sandals. They're called the Petit Couture and they keep your toes separated but you can still walk around. So I start by giving myself um, one coat of a base coat. This is Orly Bonder. And then I begin by polishing my toenails. Now I normally do one to two coats depending on um, however many is needed to get a thick, even finish. So you can see it's definitely gotten darker with this second coat. And then finally I finish it off with a top coat. And again these sandals make it really easy to keep my toes separated but I can still walk around if I have to. But I prefer to let my polish completely dry. And that's it. So don't forget to check the info bar below and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay blessed.